What's up everybody? Dante's a genius and I'm here today per request of a fellow devil hunter. We will be learning to create this. Okay, I kind of actually had to insert a picture of the item. It's Dante's belt from Devil May Cry 4. I have one, but I lost it. So now we're gonna create another one. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. Okay? First, we're gonna start off with the materials that you will need to do this. It's quite simple. It only takes about 45 minutes to make this, if that. You don't need very many materials. It's pretty inexpensive. And this is just going to be like a little belt buckle that will slip over a belt buckle on a real belt. So it's not actually gonna be functional, really. It's gonna just slip over something. It's decorative. Okay? Okay. Let's start with the materials. First, you're going to need a printable template that I have made for you. It's going to be linked in the description box. Don't worry, I promise it'll be there. I know I'm not very good at remembering to do that stuff. I will remember this time. It is in the description box. You can click on it. It's a link. Print it off. Um, it should be the right size, but you can adjust the size to your liking. And then also you're going to need a reference picture of Dante's belt from Devil May Cry 4. I have one right here that I drew out. Um, I have a better version of this on my computer. As you can see, there's like stuff that doesn't need to be there. I will also link that in the description box. You will also need some EVA foam. You don't need a lot of it, just a little bit. Just these thin pieces, you can get it at a crafting store. Uh, you can, I recommend using all black, but for this tutorial, for the sake of showing you guys, I'm going to use two different colors so you can see what I'm doing. And in addition to that, you will also need hot glue gun and hot glue sticks. You will need some contact cement, which you can pick up at your hardware store. It's not very expensive. You will also need scissors and or an X-Acto knife. Just be careful with the X-Acto knife if you choose to use one. Obviously, I will not be using one. Um, you will need black acrylic paint and also some silver metallic acrylic paint. Also some fabric that you're going to use to attach the buckle to your other belt. I like to use like a faux leather, I think that works best, but use whatever you have laying around. And you will of course need a belt to attach your buckle to. I'm going to be using this one, it's like my favorite belt in the world, it's what my sister used for her Dante costume, it's what I use for like my casual street Dante outfits that I wear all the time, and Hirma and everybody else, I love this belt. So that is what you will need, now let us begin the process. Oh. And you're also going to need a pen and a nice clean workspace and not to knock over your hot glue gun. And you'll also need a cute little baby Dante. Right there. You can't really see him, but you'll need him too. Let's go. First things first, after you've printed out your template, you need to cut it out. See, print me. Well, I also have a little step-by-step -step thing telling you to cut it out. So just cut out around this shape. Don't do anything to the black spaces on the inside yet. Don't. You can save that rusty heat too if you want it because you never know where you're going to need one of those. After you cut out your template, you need to take it and you need to stick it on one of your EVA foam sheets. Take your pen and trace it. It's really hard to see your trace marks on black foam. It's unfortunate. But when you hold it in the light, you can see it okay. I think I'm doing this right. FYI, I'm the worst at cutting circles and ovals. And then take your other piece of foam, I'm using the red here, and do the same thing. Oh, look at that, beautiful, perfectly circular lines. I fail. Okay, now cut these out, both of them. One of those, and now for the other one. Oh my goodness, I fail. Obviously you're gonna wanna take your time on this a little more than I did, holy man. Okay, now you have two of these. 
uh, make them more perfect than mine. Mine suck, okay? Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut out these black spaces in this piece of paper. This is easiest to do with an X-Acto knife, but I don't trust myself with X-Acto knives, so I'm just going to use scissors. And I'll do it off camera because I know I will be terrible at doing it on camera. So you're going to cut out the nose piece too, this, 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 and this. Just be really careful, you don't want to, you want to keep this to be one whole piece around here. You want this to be one whole piece, this thing, there's, yeah. It's going to be really fragile, so be very careful with it, okay? Okay, cut that out, I'm going to cut it out, and you can cut yours out. Oh my thumb, yeah. Congrats guys, the hardest part of this whole entire tutorial is finished. <laughs> no seriously, that's the hardest part. Now. Take your template thingy that you cut out and lay it down on one of your EVA foam pieces. Actually, if you do have a color other than black, it'll be a lot easier to do this. We're not going to take a pen. And yes, this is a little difficult, but you're going to have to try to keep it held down and just kind of outline lightly all the little details. That is done, and now that it is done, yay, we get to cut more shapes out. You're going to have arthritis by the end of this tutorial. Not really, but you know. Okay, so now we're gonna cut this out. I'm gonna turn off the camera though, because I know I can't do it till you guys are watching me. Just be extra careful on this one that you cut the pieces out right. Okay, now let's do this. Now you have that all cut out. That's like all the hardest stuff is done. Now comes the fun part. So this piece, you don't want to worry about that right now. Take the bottom piece, this is going to be like your base, and if you look at Dante's jet, or belt, you can't really tell here because I blacked it out for printing purposes or scanning purposes, but he has a bunch of lines going, he has a bunch of lines going like behind the skull. There's like a bunch of like random lines. So we're just gonna take a pen, and apply not too much pressure, but a little bit of pressure, and just start at the center and drag the lines out. I can't see what I'm doing here, but I'm just drawing, or just dragging the lines and creating like this texture on the foam. And this is going to add depth to it once we add the paint to the final product. Depth. Here you have your two pieces. This one is ready to go. This one is ready to go. What you want to do is attach them using contact cement. You should use this in well ventilated areas. Not gonna lie, I'm not worrying about it. Uh, you can get this at your hardware store and just stick some on the back of your skull face. This stuff is magic. I Basically, Kalina Ann is like 90% contact cement. The rest is EVA foam and PVC. And just stick it on there. I'm being pretty sloppy with it, but you know. Um, it says you need to put it on both sides of your project, but I just worry about putting it on one because it sticks that way perfectly fine. Now it stinks a lot and it's very sticky, so your mom will probably yell at you when she comes home smelling this nasty smell in the kitchen. like a heavy book and set it on top of this like take a piece of something what do I have take like something to cover it and then like stick something healthy on top or heavy healthy <laughs> this is healthy and heavy <laughs> stick that on top vitamin protein butter and let that sit for about 10, ten minutes we're just checking it periodically to see when it's dried. I'll check in with you guys in just a few minutes. Now would be a good time to warm up your hot glue gun. 